What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes, back again here. We are amongst a sea of boilers and water heaters. I kid you not, there's a lot of them here. A whole bunch of them. Anyway, someone decided that this Watts 007 M1 QT, uh, they needed parts for it and they stripped the parts out of it. And uh, the, the, biz, the owner of the property got a letter from the water company that, um, <laughs> hey, you need a backflow device that's functional installed and it failed the test. So it, regardless, it needs to be installed after the water, water meter. So we have that gate valve closed, this gate valve closed. Peter, crack that union right there. And we're gonna crack that union. We're gonna take out this uh, meter coupling out of that bushing. And we're gonna take this one out of there and we're gonna put it there and we're gonna move all this around and install a new brand new Watts 007 M1 QT LF model instead. All right, crack the other one. Well, I crack it, don't take it off completely because then you're gonna lose the, uh, the wash that's in there. Well, that's gonna come right off, right? I said mm -hmm. crack the union. Don't take it off completely. Just, just Yep. Thread it back on. Okay. Okay, go to the next one. Eh, eh, just thread it back on. Go to the next one. All right, because I don't want you to like lose the washer that's in there. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Okay, go to the next. How long do you think before one of the 18 residents in these apartments complain before with no water? Uh, uh, infamous Peter. Uh, Peter went once, like, ah. The worst decision maker ever. I know, Peter's very indecisive. Okay, good, loose? Okay, now take one wrench, you're gonna put it on that bushing right there. Another wrench on the, on the nipple coming out of the bushing, you're gonna take that union out, that, take that nipple out. Ah. Okay, good, come on, get it done. People are gonna start complaining. People are gonna come down here with machetes that we have no water. I bet you there's someone in the shower right now that has no water, come on. I don't think Ladies and gentlemen, Peter is getting his hands dirty finally. A stupid wire. A stupid wire? Okay, you'll figure it out. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Yes, that's true. See, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one way to learn. That's by doing. Get it done. Oh, yeah. I want you to have your weed this morning, Peter. Oh, yeah, baby. Get that money. Oh, yeah, Peter. Peter's getting that money today, baby. Oh, yeah, Peter. Got that money. Mm -mm -mm. Finger looking good money. Now that yeah. one's loose. Let's do that one. So, so there you go, and hold back on the female adapter. And get that money, Peter. Of course. Get that money. How's the gym working out for you? It's good. You I, go? Uh, yeah, I go. Okay. I need to get my friends to come with me. They slide. Well, I need your friends. You need your friends to, what do you, you bring uh, sand to the beach? You're going to work out. You got to work out with your fellas? Work out with the, you know, if you're going to work out, work out with a Latina chica, with a, a donk donk. You gotta find a you gotta find a girl with a donk donk. You know what a donk donk is? I sure do. Okay. <laughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, rule number one: have fun with what you do, or find something else to have fun with. Oh, what's going on there, Peter? No, no, look what's going on. You're spinning the meter around, right? And then there's a wire connected to the the remote monitoring service. So the water company could F this guy with the expensive water bill. There you go. So now loosen up the meat. Eh, okay, loosen up that coupling a little bit more, right? And that way you could spin off that and then take the meter off completely. Yeah. Just loosen it up, Peter. Don't take it off completely. You're gonna wanna lose washers. That's fine. You're good, you're good. You're... Loosen, take the nipple out of the female adapter. Mm -hmm. Wrong way, you're tightening. You're tightening again. Oh, yeah? Yes, you're tightening. I guarantee you're tightening. And now you're... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. But now you're tightening. Oh, yeah. Once you hold one hand... There you go. See? It's 
Okay, we want to take this meter off. Okay. Good. Now do that side, and the meter will will just dangle, or maybe we'll have enough wire there, and you can rest the, the meter on top of the water heater right here. Making progress, Peter. He's making progress. Okay, we're out. You're out? Okay. Yeah. Good. Now take that meter. All right. There you go. It's only water. Put it right there on top. All right. Put it right there on top of the, the water heater. Peter, how's your meter? It's wet. <laughs> Did you hear that, Peter? F him up, F him up. What? F him up, F him up. You all right in there? All right, Peter's back. Got the little M12 hacksaw. We're gonna cut right here. And we're gonna remove the existing double check valve from the water service coming in. All right. Bueno, bueno. Right, very so now Peter is going to hold back on that bushing with the larger wrench and use the bigger, uh, the smaller wrench to take out the male adapter. The moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. This can only go one of two ways. How do you think it's going to go? Well, it's only going to go one of two ways. Either it's going to work or it's not. If it's not, then... You gotta, you opened up a can of worms and we'll run worries. for the hills. Ready? Okay, get that money, Peter. Get that money. Yeah, get that money. You know, when you're working on something old and you know, with a lot of uncertainty and the, the, the alternative for success is a massive flood. Let me tell you something, that inch and a half water main that's coming into this, this basement with this boiler room, I don't think the floor drain that's, <laughs> where's the floor drain? <laughs> there is no floor drain. <laughs> I don't think that uh, there'd be a big loss. You don't have to throw your body over it and you have to hold down the, the water pressure. <laughs> yeah, like a grenade. All right, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna start. Right, so we're gonna start by cleaning off of that brass nipple right there and this one we're going to wrap it with teflon tape and then we're going to secure our water meter inlet to that bush right, right so there. peter has both ends with uh the blue monster teflon tape we're now going to take that water meter secure it to the water main service coming in Very nice. Now he's getting the 24 inch wrench. He's going to place it on the bushing. All right, to hold back, he's gonna tighten up that one inch nipple, part of the meter coupling, and tighten that up. All right, go Peter. Very nice. Okay, it looks like it's been leaking or it's been submerged partially. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, yeah. All right, once that's secure, we're gonna take a one inch female adapter and put it at the end of the outlet. All right, so I put in a female adapter, uh, Street 90. I got the Vega one inch press by Mail Union on the inlet and the outlet side. I'm, the only reason why I'm doing this, it's in the budget. Well, not really, but um, I wanted to see if it made a difference and. The only thing, the only way to see to make a difference by putting in unions if I need to swap out this whole entire device. 
Um, if I got to swap out the device, that's going to be many, many years from now. Is it, a, is it a waste of money? I think so. I think in 20 years from now or 10 years from now when I got to replace this, this backflow prevention device, um, I'll... I don't know, maybe there'll be magic pipe and there won't be no such thing as press. Who knows? But uh, we got a piece of 23 inches going from there to there. There's the pipe. Peter cleaned it. Shove it in there. Shove it in there. Have a nice day. Peter, observation. You see how you, when you put the jaw, with the, put the machine on, how I have water dripping down my brand new machine? Right? Yeah. The Milwaukee M12 Force Logic really saves a lot of time. I can work with water that's still kind of flowing through the meter because the gate valves aren't working, you know, fully. I also don't want to close them fully or, you know, hammer down on them because they may break into place and now I'm screwed. Now I got to, you know, go to the find the curb stop of the building. I got to turn off the water to the building and, um, yeah, not fun, so make your life easier. Don't crack them, you know. Just make sure they're not they're snug, but not like wrench tight. All right, let's get a uh, flash screwdriver. Let's close the service ports. That one's open, that one's closed, that one's closed, that one's closed. And then we'll get a wrench and tighten up our unions. Peter, you should be using you should be using a wrench, not a channel lock. That's a that's a big that's a big nut on that on those unions. You're using a a ten inch channel lock. Okay. Peter's figuring out the orientation, how it's going to tighten, so we can position the wrench. Okay, good. Try to get three points of contact on the wrench with what he's trying to tighten. And now he's gonna grab this other wrench, 24 inch, rigid, aluminum. And yeah, he could put that on the union there. Yep, let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. Oh, look at that. Tightening them both up at the same time. Wow, that's good use of his knowledge and his skills and his biceps. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Peter, good job. Now slowly open up that valve right there. And let's see if we have any leaks. Okay, we hear the water flowing through the meter, through the double check valve. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw a drip there. It was not my imagination. I did see a drip there, but I don't see anything dripping right now. Okay, fully open? Yeah, uh, this union. That's the tightened. Okay, yeah, because you weren't holding back. It was still dripping. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this one. 
All right. He planned his plan of attack, and he's got one wrench. I don't know what he's going to hold back on another. He may need uh, something smaller, or he may let's see if he can f finesse it. Let's see if you got finesse. Come on, Peter. We got to restore water to these citizens. You know they're living in these apartments. They don't have any jobs, and I hear people inside. You know they need to take showers at you know twelve thirty in the afternoon. They just woke up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know, we're working to pay for their welfare, you know? Come on. Uh, no. Oh, Come on, Peter. Get the wrench on there so you can hold back. Okay. All right. Only, only one way of learning, ladies and gentlemen. That's by doing. Daniel's doing I mean, Peter's doing it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Well, that was almost a quarter turn right there. Does, does it got another quarter turn in her? Does she have another quarter turn in her? Okay, good. Don't go, go, go crazy because in 20 years from now, you know, I don't know. I'm going to be 60-something years old and I'm not going to be able to loosen up that union that these people on YouTube want me to install. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got the one above there too, don't you? Yeah. Come on. Let's tighten it up. We got to get the water onto these people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing this live. There you go, there you go. He's trying he's, he's try to get the union itself, but he's got the body of the thing. Let's see what happens. Okay, feel nice and good? Okay, very good. So let's uh, make sure that we open up the other valve and turn on water to the building. Now, when people can take showers. Imagine being in the shower, you know, 40 minutes ago. And all of a sudden, the water got turned off. Like, oh God, what happened? I didn't pay the other water bill. Maybe that's what the guy was yelling. Maybe it's like, yeah, he was cursing. Good. He's opening that one fully, and then he just fully open clock counterclockwise, and then crack it open clockwise a little bit, so it's just seated back off, fully open. Okay, there he goes. Do 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 do. Do 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 Sinks are, sinks are filling up, toilets are being refilled, tubs are filling with water, maybe someone's trying to kill themselves and throw a hair dryer into the t full tub of water. <laughs> Stick a fork in an outlet? No, because it has, what does that have to do with water, Peter? Come on. We're talking about like water related. What does a fork in an outlet have anything to do with? Take, take a bath with a toaster. Take a bath with a toaster. There you go. Voila.